Morning guys. Well, this thing's really coming along good. You know what's really funny is when you run your hand across something like a piece of wood like this, which you would probably describe it as is smooth. But as more of these layers go down and they get worked down, I kind of feel it and it feels soft, which is not something that you would describe this wood, but that's what it feels like. So if your stock feels soft, you're, you're going the right way, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I want to go ahead and uh, I've got my piece of wool. and Now I'm going to start rubbing these coats down with wool and then oil this. And then while it's drying, uh, I'm going to set up to uh, start bluing that barrel. I'm running out of tables. I've got too many projects and not enough tables, but we'll see if we can work somewhere out. When you have too many projects and not enough tables, you end up working close proximity to another project. So you just got to like be careful. Anyway, stay with me. Get that nice hot coffee going down. The grease is definitely drying up enough. See, this actually puts a a little bit more of a shine on it. But I'm going to go ahead and rub this out. And we'll put a little oil on it. And it'll probably be good until tomorrow morning. And uh, kind of feel bad for you guys because the way this is going, it's almost like it's the same as yesterday. But that's what it is when you're doing this. Uh, it's the same thing each day that you got to do. So, anyway, we'll get this on real quick and then we'll get to that blue. Let this sit now. Ah, I'm taking a couple more coaches off. Gonna look okay. Not as much curl as I wanted, but it's curly. So I'm going to uh, right, we'll let that cure and we'll get on it again. I probably, I've been leaving it overnight. All right, on to the barrel. So I found me a piece of bench. This is a uh, cold blue solution, and uh, I, I have ability to make use hot blue, but uh, and I could put these in my hot blue tank, but that requires you got to have a lot of stuff to do to do a hot blue. It doesn't pay to do a couple of small parts, fire everything up, but. The other thing is, is that hot blue lasts really long. This one will patina. This cold blue will patina down. It would really be nice if my tray <laughs> was... So you can see what I'm doing, I guess. If my tray was long enough for the barrel to fall in. But it isn't, so we're doing it this way. Um, one thing with this uh, cold blue is it goes bad really fast and you'll find where it stops working then it's time to dump dump it out and put some more in um, it's not expensive but economically it's a lot more expensive than doing it doing it in uh, in a hot blue solution so it's kind of like the other stuff you get a little bit going Okay, so I carted this off with some steel wool. Okay, so I carted it off with some steel wool. Well, you can see it's starting to take the blue. Um, normally, I don't cart it with steel wool because if you're not careful until this stuff really sets up, you just take it right back off. But I was real light with it. There's some blotches that I'm working on. Um, but I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to change the fluid. I'll do it one more time. 
and cart it off and and then I'll I won't probably won't cart it off with steel wool I'll probably cart it off with something a little bit softer like just a, a cloth and then soak it with oil and then uh, let it sit overnight okay. and cure so as you can see it's come out kind of a nice deep blue black and I've soaked it with oil so it'll It'll continue to blue. This stuff is really interesting. It'll it'll look like it's not bluing, and then you wipe it down, and all of a sudden it's all blue, and it's already starting to have a wear look to it, and and that's what I'm looking for. I want it to have a little bit of a um, old time wear look. So I'm gonna let that sit for overnight. I'll probably put a couple of coats. It, it's getting warm enough in the shop. I'll probably put a couple of coats on this before we have coffee again tomorrow. And uh, we'll start putting this thing together, which will really be cool. And, uh, and then it'll be bang time, and wind's blowing like a tornado out there right now. Maybe by the time it's bang time or boom time, it'll be a nice day. Ha, 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 nice day in the mountain. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I'll see you next time. You guys have a great day. Thanks for joining me for a cup. Bye-bye.